Good afternoon and welcome back to Payday 2 for the next installment of our Career Unlock Challenge. So last time we did rats, and this time we very unfortunately have to do big oil. And I'm not looking forward to it, I'll be honest. We'll get through it, we'll get through it together, but I don't want to. I'm just going to put that out there right now. Alright, so this is a two-day job. The second day is the one that I hate. It is my least favourite part of this game. The first day, however, isn't too bad. So here's our insider info. So there are a motorcycle gang, they smuggle weapons, they trade in various white powders. But... Now there's a reason for this. We're going in quiet. Oh, we can use the playing cards now. I was going to go back to the shuriken, but we've got the Ace of Spades. Looks like they expect a fight. I know you will give them one. Find the safe and the address. Get as much intel from these scumbags as you can. Let's roll. Alright, we are not hitting them hard. We are hitting them... silently. Sneak up and hit them hard. No, no, Ben, I just said we're not doing that. Oh. Well, that was, um, not nice. Can I go in through this way? Nope. Unpleasantness aside, let's see if we can find an actual way in. Okay. I think that's an opening over there. That's where we're going to have to go through, I think. Alright. There's one down there. I think he's on his own, though. So we can pop him. Now these guys don't actually have pages. Which is why this is actually possible to stealth. You basically just have to take everybody out. Without anybody firing a shot, because that's when people get alerted. Which, as you can see from my performance so far, isn't actually that big of an ask. You've just got to be really, really thorough with it. Okay, well that guy patrolled down. There's three more up here. Okay, that was kind of close. Oh god. Right. We were detected, which meant that I had to shoot that guy a few times to get him killed. There's the intel. But now... We just need to find the rest of it. Alright. I wasn't expecting any more. But that's the cameras dealt with. There should be a safe around here somewhere. Oh, here we go. It's a big old thing. 400 seconds we have to wait for that. So while that's going, I'm going to have a peek around and see if we can find any other loot around. Because there's a couple of buildings around that do have some loot in. Alright, there we go, over there. That little warehouse. Should have some good stuff for me. Let me see what's in here. Just planks? Is there really no loot in here? I mean, there's a gauge package, but is that it? Wow, that is incredibly disappointing. I went through all that trouble to stealth this job, and there's not actually any extra loot here for me. Maybe there's some in here, let's pick this open. In fact, what am I doing? Okay, well there's a lot of ATMs down here that they've obviously stolen. I brought a medic bag just in case instead of my ECMs. Obviously, that was a mistake, because that was the only other additional loot we could find here. Oh, actually, there's another building out there behind the compactor. Maybe not all's lost, maybe there's something here for me. Alright, what do we have? I got it. Another courier package. Got it. Two courier packages. And absolutely nothing else. 
This is ridiculous. There's nothing here. Well, I still have 2 minutes 20 seconds to wait on this bloody drill. So... I guess I'll just go around and smash some stuff up to keep myself occupied. Considering there's nothing to steal. Alright, I've smashed up all the windows. There's a couple more bottles here. But after this, I've smashed up all the bottles. All the TVs. And just in time. Perfect. There's the intel. Great, well, there's nothing in that safe either. We just got the worst run with all of this, I think. No extra loot, electrified fence. We're done at least, we can get out of here. Alright, now it's time for the part we don't want to do the next day. We need to be absolutely certain we know which one the uh, the engine is. Because if we don't, then we're going to be here a long time. Ten point landing. Nice drop. You're a click away from his villa. Sneak across the airfield. Get into the house. Find the engine and bring it back here. I will do the rest. All right, Ben. If you could work out which engine it is as well, I would. Really appreciate that, because we've got our work cut out for us here. The house is right across and through the woods. Leg it. Find the server room. From there, we should be able to open the lab door. Okay, so we have this key card. We can use this to open one of the locked doors. There are a couple of them. So, we might not always get the server room first try. And it may be necessary to drill through one. Now, this guy's not moving. If he doesn't move, that's really good for us. It means we have to use a different entrance, but we effectively had one guard fewer. So I'm just going to stay here until a minute 30. If he doesn't move, I'm just going to assume that he's stuck in place. Okay, you know what? 110's enough. He's not moving. That's good for us. Let's find another way in. There's a camera up there. Let's get around this. Also a guard. I thought it was just the camera that was detecting me, not this guy. Right, but we can get ourselves inside. No, we can't. This other guy's coming out. Where's he going, though? That way? Okay, that's a problem. He, like, looked over his shoulder at the perfect time to spot me, I think. Right, but that's one guard removed. I'll take the body. Hopefully it's this other room, which it is. Good. Right, problem here is I need to not only get rid of this body somewhere, but I also need to get my deployable down, because I really need to grab another body back. Okay, he's gone down there. I'm going to make trails way away from this house, so I've got somewhere to drop this body. Alright, there's 20 seconds left on that. I'm going to start making a move towards the lab door. I also really want to check. There's someone on that staircase. Yeah, he's still there. Okay, so we know for a fact we're two guards down now. Because we're never going to have to worry about that guy over there, because he's just not going to move. Okay, the lab door's unlocked. Open it. I'm going for it, Ben. Let's get ourselves in here. Ooh. Oh, there's no scientist down here. Got it. Occasionally, he's down here in his lab, and you can take him hostage here. So, as you can see, there's quite a lot of engines. I think, what was that, 18 or something? Now, we need to look around for intel. We need to find a computer with a PSI reading on it. 5,783 PSI, that says. So, we need to use the calculation on the other screen that we found. Alright, so we see here, 10 PSI is 0.7 bar. So if we come over here, we have 
5,793. So if we do 5783 multiplied by 0 0.07, that gives us 404.81. So we're looking for an engine, if we look on PSI, with just over 400. So like this, we're looking at about 400 PSI. So I think we're looking at the 400 PSI ones, but we still don't know which one it is. It's color coding on here, so there's nitrogen. I think that's supposed to be deuterium, but it's deuterium. Or maybe I'm just bad at chemistry. And then there's also helium. So you see the different colored cans on the engine. So there you go, there's the green one at the back, the yellow one here. They've all got a big blue can, but the little can on them is different each time. So now we need to work out which one it is, and also how many cables are attached to that can. Now the way we do that is we have to go back up into the lion's den, we have to go stealth around up here, and there are generally a lot of clipboards around, which have the information that we need. There's so many guards in this building though. Let me see. Helium, that one says? So, are we looking for a helium engine, perhaps? We need to get back down to look for some more research, though. 2H. Okay, I think we have everything we need, then. So it's two cables to the hydrogen tank, and it's helium. So we need a green one with two cables off of this tank. This is green with two at about 400 PSI, so I think it's this one. I think it's this one. I'm going to put a playing card there, just to mark it. So that's green with two, but that's like 450 PSI. Okay, yeah, I think this is the only one it can be. Let's get my card back. We've got ourselves engine number three. Now we've got to get this outside, and it's bloody heavy. Now, when Alex comes in with the helicopter, this is going to alert everybody, I'm pretty sure. But yeah, the process you saw me go through there is basically how you figure out which engine it is. It's not that difficult, contrary to popular belief. I just really don't like this job, because you either have to stealth it perfectly, or it's a really hellish experience doing it in loud. But yeah, this helicopter is going to set the alarm off. Oh, it's Bile, not Alex. Okay. Alright, oh, Alex is the one that drops off the ammo bags if you buy the asset. Also, what is with this amalgamation of heisters? There's Jimmy there with um, a mysterious white powder all over his face. There's John Wick, who is most definitely back. And then Sangrez is here with a very loud shirt, but honestly, power to you, man. Just 30 seconds left. Be ready. Okay, chopper's here. Get the engine loaded up. The chopper is not here, Ben. I, I don't see a helicopter. Oh, here we go. Here he comes. And there's the alarm. Come on, we don't have time for this. We really don't have time for this. Come on, go, Bob, go. Alright, we have specials on scene already. Yeah, my gun can't do anything close to what my repeater could. Like, I have nowhere to deal with this shield. Like, I genuinely have nothing on me that can take that shield out. Yeah, please hurry with that, Ben. Okay, medic's down. I need to be so careful here. Oh, that's a dozer. Wait, what? Hold on now, hold on. What did I get wrong? Alright, let's have a quick run around, see if I can find the intel that we had again. So, a two hitch. Oh no. Wow, I'm surprised I took him out so easily. Yeah, so it was definitely two hitch. Let's get ourselves down here. Oh, that's really not helpful. 
I need to get this power back on so I can see what's going on. So is it this one? Two hits at 450 PSI? Did I just do the calculation wrong? Oh, sod it, we'll take this one. I think there was only two green cans with two... two wires into the hydrogen tank, so... Alright, we're gonna go down here, I think. Yep, that shield is gonna screw me up. Oh, there's a dose of that, too. Alright, that's fine. It drags the AI out here. Alright. You know, I thought we would have gone down more, considering we're playing on overkill with no armor and no dodge perks, but... We're making it. We're making it through. Right. Get that out of her. Now we hide. Perfect, okay. So I think what happened there is it could have been one of those two. Because the PSI was greater than or equal to, um... Wait, no. I messed up. The PSI was greater than or equal to, what was it, 404? One second. I'm gonna check this, because I did the calculation on my calculator on my phone as we were doing this. So it should have been equal to or greater than 404. I went for the engine that was 400, the closest one. I had to have gone for the one that was 450, because that would have been greater than. It couldn't have been 400, because that would have been less than. So that's where I screwed up. And you know what we get rewarded for that? By one-tapping a dozer. Sure. Why not? Alright, so... No Dr. Fantastic achievement for us. We are Dr. Disappointment this time around. This just doesn't do the damage we need it to. Alright. That's two shields down. Oh, another dozer. Alright, they're retreating. I need this ammo. It's risky, but I just need the ammo. Is this our way out? Oh, perfect. Okay. We can get out of her. Alright, come on, come on, come on. Let us in. Let us in. Alright, well that got us 10 mil offshore. 2.5 mil spending. It's not too bad, but that's kind. Of, that situation is kind of why I don't like big oil, because it seems simple enough to figure out, and then you convince yourself you've got it right, and then it's wrong, and then you have to deal with an assault wave while equipped for stealth. And honestly, if those AI didn't have the light machine guns, I don't think we would have been able to get through that. Let's just look at our pair there. Yeah, those machine guns definitely saved us in that situation. We got a hockey mask. Wonderful. To go with the uh, little hockey arena that was in that mansion, I suppose. But yeah, that's Big Oil done. Easier than I expected it to go, to be honest. I thought I'd really mess up and then we have to, like, cart every single engine out and just throw them in at random until we get the right one, but it worked out. So next we've got pieces off the board. Alright, framing frame. So this is the one where you have to steal the paintings from the gallery and then pop them into this guy's house, which will let you use them as cameras to locate a lot of his devices to hack to open his vault. I think I might go for Hardware Expert, actually, because you do a lot of drilling in this game, and making these drills silent means that we'll be able to do more of them in stealth. So yeah, that's where we're going, I think. But hey, that is another job completed, another unlock secured. Next time around, we've got Framing Frame to do. So, thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Goodbye.